Hello, I'm Matt White, Product Manager on the Documentum XCP team. In this demo, I'm happy to show off new UI components in XCP Dynamic Case Management. We're going to use a home loan origination application that we've created in XCP to demonstrate our new Dynamic Case Management features in XCP version CE21.2. Here are the four roles involved in our use case. As I go through the demo, we'll see that action items and checklists of tasks to complete will vary depending on the role of the user accessing the solution. While there's four roles that are involved in moving a loan from initiation to completion, we're going to primarily focus on the second user in this list, Mark Edwards, who is a home loan officer. Mark will utilize all the new features of XCP case management as he completes the tasks he needs to move a loan to the next user in the process. With this in mind, we'll start with the loan initiator, Pete Shannon, and show him creating the initial loan and passing it along to a home loan officer for further processing. When Pete logs in, he's going to create a new loan case by filling out the loan application, information about the property, and other data related to the loan being requested. Once this loan case is properly initiated, Pete can go on to work on other items and this loan will move to a loan officer that will use our new features to complete what they need to do to get this loan approved. So now we're ready for Mark Edwards to do his work. He's a home loan officer and has a series of tasks he needs to perform before the loan can move to its next step. Let's see how XCP Dynamic Case Management makes that easy for Mark. Once Mark logs in, he's going to see a list of all active cases he has access to. Note the context menu that appears as Mark hovers over a case. This menu provides options to open tasks, add items, and to perform other actions pertinent to the case. Mark opens the Diane Evans case and we can look at all of the new and enhanced components of the XCP case widget. On the left, we see the loan root node called Diane Evans and all the case data nodes located underneath it. These data nodes will typically contain business objects or documents that relate to this loan case. At the top of the screen, we have the case progress bar, which will graphically display the progress as the case moves through each of its phases. At the bottom of the screen, we have the case summary, which is an arrangement of the business objects pertinent to this case so they can be easily reviewed. Just above the case summary, we have action buttons specific to the loan case. Here we have add credit score, upload supporting documents, and add appraisal. And to the right of these buttons are loan actions. Mark can acquire the loan, edit loan information, or if he has permissions, delete the loan case. After Mark reviews the case summary, he's going to go to the loan case checklist to see what tasks he needs to perform. On the checklist is a clear list of what Mark needs to accomplish, the priority of each task, and its current status, such as being completed or in progress. Taking a quick look behind the scenes at XCP Designer, we can see that the checklist is a configurable item and the status and priority come from pick lists that can be configured properly for the case. Focusing back on Mark, he's going to use the checklist to indicate what he's working on and then proceed to add the credit score for this loan. Once adding the credit score is complete, he can mark the task as complete and then the case progress bar will be updated and reflect the case progress and Mark can move on to the next task. Mark's next task is to upload supporting documents. In this case, there's four documents required, so he'll mark that he's working on them accept the task, and then proceed to upload the four documents. The first of the required documents he'll upload is a photo ID. He'll then follow by uploading a tax return, a W-2, and a pay stub. We'll skip ahead to the completion of the uploads. Mark will update the checklist and then indicate he's going to do his final review so this task can move on to the next person in the review process. The next performer is Ann Halsey, a home loan underwriter. She'll take care of the appraisal, making sure that the value of the home matches the loan amount being requested. She'll review the loan, then pass it on to the senior loan officer for final approval. The last performer is Mary Fisher, the senior loan officer. 
She'll make the final call on the loan and if she's happy with it, she'll mark the loan accepted and the case will then be complete. Going back one more time to our loan case search page, we can see the Diane Evans case is now complete, approved, and closed. As you have seen, XCP CE 21.2 includes some great new case management features including an enhanced and configurable checklist that can be set up specific to a case and specific to a case role, and also upgrades to the user interface components in our case management framework, including a new context menu and enhancements to our case widget user interface. Thanks for checking out what's new in XCP CE 21.2.